My name is Drew McKerney and I am a director and choreographer. I'm currently directing The Wild Party, which is at the other palace, but I've also uh, recently done uh, In the Heights, Jesus Christ Superstar, and Jekyll and Hyde at the Old Vic. So I've been uh, dancing, making up shows in my living room, in the school classroom, since I've been really, really young. I uh, got into it because my teachers at school thought it would be a great idea for me to get rid of some of my excess energy by going to some kind of, you know, uh, dance classes. And uh, I kind of got the bug and have been doing it ever since. Yeah, well, I remember my family took me to go and see um, Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat, which I became obsessed with. And um, I put on my own production in the playground. It was just me, and I played all the brothers. I played the whole thing. Nobody came. I did try and sell tickets. Um, it, it was a really kind of sad, grey day in Warsaw, where, you know, my school playground and nobody was there, and I, I you know, homemade Technicolor Dreamcoat. There was uh, a lady who was very, very important to me. She unfortunately passed away last year and she was the artistic director of the National Youth Ballet Company called Jill Tookie. And uh, I joined the company when I was like 12 years old and by 14 I had her in the coffee shop and I was pitching my first ballet to her. And she commissioned me at 15 to create my first ballet which was performed at Sadler's Wells on the main stage. Everyone thought she was bonkers and, um, and my ballet was pretty dreadful actually. It was, it was bad but she, she knew I was going to do it anyway and it, I was either going to perform it in the corridor or I was going to perform it at Sadler's Wells and she chose to give me that moment at Sadler's Wells. And, um, and I, uh, I, I miss being able to tell her what I'm doing hugely and she's only been gone a year and uh, I think she'd be very, very proud of what's happened in the last year since the Olivier's last year. And uh, so she's been, she always has been a, a continued kind of inspiration because she uh, never said no, she just asked me how. So that was uh, a, a thing that I, I try and do every day now. As a theatre maker, um, you know, in, in this year, you know, you, you, you feel like you have a responsibility to be able to, to find ways of making the work relevant. So approaching a show like On the Town, for example, or indeed Wild Party, that were written in a different period. Try and find the ways that those characters live and breathe in, in modern culture. That's not to say you're modernising the show, but you're trying to make out, make a, even make a way to kind of connect with a modern audience. That's definitely the next uh, level of the process is finding out like why do it and why modern audiences can get excited about it. Mm -hmm.